Hey everybody, welcome back to another uh, part of our PSD to HTML tutorial. Uh, this time around we're going to be cutting out assets from our PSD for using them for use inside of our uh, web application. So looking at this um, PSD real fast, we only have a couple elements where we'll, we will actually cut out as JPEGs. Most of these are going to be PNGs with uh, alpha transparency. Or I think it's alpha transparency, regardless, transparency. Um, and I'll show you the various tools for cutting them out and, and the best way to save them to um, for use. Um, so uh, the tool you're going to want to use is your slice tool, um, which is just over on the left. Um, you can use your crop tool. What the crop tool does um, is that it kills your whole PSD. Um, if it would actually crop, it may have crashed uh, Photoshop. Um, oh, there it goes. Um, so you can't go back in and, and do anything, so I'm going to press F12 and revert everything. Now, the slice tool is really interesting because it's really interesting and useful uh, because, let's say, for instance, I want to. So that's just about perfect. Um, you sl you select the area you wish to slice, and then you can come over here and let's say we want to go ahead and cut out um, this right here, this guy right here. Now what you can do is you double click on it, and over here it's going to give you a name, or the, the your your various pr uh, properties for that. So you can give it a quick little name, and so down here I'm going to rename my recycle thing it's real fast and now when you save it um, we're gonna use save for web if you do typical save um, you won't get your slices I don't think um, but it won't properly render the elements to look good on the web so that is control alt shift s um, doing it a lot is going to make your hand look really weird, um, especially if you are a Windows user on a MacBook Pro, because um, the Windows and the Alt key are all janky. Um, so anyway, while we're on this screen, um, we can use the, the Select Slice tool by, to select multiple slices by using uh, Shift, holding Shift, and selecting our various slices. Um, and they will all consistently save to whatever we have uh, set over here. For our use, we're going to want to do PNG24 um, for anything with transparency. If you're going to save a JPEG, um, you're going to want to set your uh, your quality level. Now, based on what type of image you're saving, if there's a lot of colors or if it's very high res, you're going to want to set your level to somewhere between um, 80 to 100%. Um, down here is going to give you a, on the bottom left hand corner of the previous screen, it's going to give you an idea about how big the file size is going to be. And so if we look right now, it's, uh, these are going to be about um, two, uh, 26 kilobytes um, at maximum quality. If we do low quality, it shows 3.9 um, kilobytes. Um, and so you want to find a really good balance. You don't want a 1 meg. Uh, image, uh, JPEG image on your page. You want to have real low assets, anything below 100k um, when you can. Um, with JPEGs, you, you're gonna this this screen is where you're gonna optimize them. With PNGs, there's third-party tools we can use to compress them and uh, for 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 better uh, re resource use. Um, let's see. Let me. Uh, hop into my actual development folder that I'm working on with this uh, da, da, da. tech projects da, da, da. that's not it maybe yeah, there we go that's your cutout cutout so this is our folder. Now, one of the things you're going to want to uh, pay attention on the save screen is um, in your settings, I personally recommend selecting other. It says put images in folder images. Um, this is going to create a folder for you and dump all the images inside of there. 
this may not be the desired result. You'll end up with images folder within an images folder within an images folder. So I prefer to uncheck this. Um, that way they actually save in the uh, actual directory I'm selecting. Uh, the other one you want to, the other one to pay attention to is your slices drop down list. Uh, if we select all slices, um, it's going to save every slice on the page. Now when you slice up an image or a section, it's going to create slices around it and it's going to save all those. Um, with all user slices, uh, it's going to select all the actual slices we did, not the surrounding ones. And then all selected slices are the ones that we actually saved in this screen. So if I click save, it's going to save our header and then our very ghetto recycles uh, one. So if we go into our project file, we're going to see those two um, ridiculous images um, saved for us. Thank you, Windows 8 Image Viewer. Close that down. So I'm going to delete these. Um, I'm going to create an, an images folder. Now every web pl every platform is going to have a different naming convention. ASP.NET MVC is going to have content and then images. Um, I know uh, Ruby on Rails has its own convention. Um, you use whatever you're comfortable with. So, uh, let's select my slice tool. Now, um, for this one, to get our transparency, uh, to actually select the graphic, I uh, am going to use your uh, selection tool, move tool, and have it auto select layer. Click on it, and then down on the right side, we'll see that um, it's uh, selected. Um, we have the right layer. Now, one way to do this is you can, if you hold Alt and then click the I on your layer, it's going to hide all layers behind it. And so from here, we could save um, the PNG for that. Um, I guess I should find out what I named it in my other project so it looks cleaner. Um, uh, we could save it like this. One thing I like to do that uh, you can also do to, to save an image is convert it to, a, select your layers and, and convert to a smart object. And then go in and edit contents. And what it's going to do, it's, it's going to crop out everything around it um, and make it the exact size of the proper images. From, so from here you can do the exact same thing. You don't have to worry about all the, the settings and slice related stuff. Um, and from this spot you can actually name it what you like. Um, in my other one I named it logo so I'm just going to uh, call it logo also. And I'm going to cut out this image real fast. This one is a little bit more challenging. Um, do, 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 do. So we have a monitor, then we have a mobile phone, and then another mobile phone somewhere. Yeah. So we have three layers right here. Um, I'm going to convert to smart object. That way they're all joined together. And we're going to go in and edit contents. Now you see we have this big section down here that um, is full of space. Um, we're going to go up to image and select trim. Now what this does is it's going to trim all you can select to trim all transparent pixels around it and this will allow you to um, so th this it won't we have a drop shadow on this um, iPhone down here. And one problem you have if you hand select the the region you may end up with a hard line. So let's say just by accident you cut off right there. You're gonna have a hard line inside your uh, your your image that's that's not going to look very good. So this going this approach is gonna guarantee you get all the pixels related to that image. So we're gonna save uh, con Control Shift Alt S, save it as a PNG and save it as slide. see here what other and then over here we're going to do the the typical um, um, 
we're going to select all four of these and save them. Uh, and so um, when you create a, sorry about all the chimes, um, when you create a slice, um, it's going to give you guides um, for your other slices. So, and if you double click on a slice, you're going to get its property. So we see it's a 227 by 148. We can verify that this one is the same size also. So also what you can do is, is, is slice out a small section of it and name it 227 148. Hit enter and it's going to automatically resize your slice and then you can use your arrow keys to position it correctly. Seven, one, forty-eight, or you could just use your mouse and drag it over to the right position. Now, um, now we have that done. We're going to Control Alt Shift S. Go down and select. Use uh, sh Hold Shift and click each one of these elements, and we're going to save them as JPEGs. One thing we forgot to do is. Um, name them so we'll do port 2 port 1 port 3 port 4 okay reselect them all with um, holding shift I'm going to set the quality level of them down to about 75 since it's not absolutely critical that these are the highest quality um, we may even get along with 70 or 60 uh, quality images um, so I'm going to select all selected slices make sure that my image folder is set correctly and click save I'm going to go back over to my images folder and there we have them. Um, so they're about 10k each. Um, this one's 7k, 7.7k. So that's that's great file size. That's going to save um, our server some some bandwidth. Um, and so we we would continue to go through each one of these, um, saving uh, either by doing smart objects or slicing and hiding the background, all the other layers, and saving them individually. Um, Thankfully, I've already cut this out before, and so um, with, uh, I'm going to be able to just uh, select all of them and paste them over. So we have uh, our icons for the, uh, what was it, uh, their services. Uh, I have an image uh, for the... Uh, the rotator um, didn't feel like doing it with CSS, so I just cut it out. Um, I have a background for uh, each one of these. Advertisers has this gradient background to it, semi uh, transparent gradient. And so that way we have a background image that's reused across all of them and a, uh, a front image um, to overlay on top of it. This allows us to easily swap out with different logos without having to rehunt down that background image. Then I have a bunch of the smaller icons for the social ones. Alrighty, and so the other thing that we can do with all the PNGs is optimize them. Now you can uh, download something like PNG Gauntlet or use uh, advanced Photoshop or fireworks to compress um, PNG. I like to use this uh, website called tinypng.org. Um, our slide um, PNG um, for our our top rotator it's 115 K reposition that so we're gonna see how much it's gonna shrink now typically these PNG optimizers um, they do their best when there's a lot of transparency on on it um, I'm not sure what happens behind the scenes um, but there's there's compression behind the scenes. Um, sometimes when you reopen it inside of Photoshop or whatever you get some inconsistencies um, and so it's always good to keep an original version of your image 
um, before you compress it. That way, if something goes wrong with your compressed version, you have uh, a new version. So we're going to drag and drop and upload, and it looks like the newer version is only 46k, which is awesome. We're going to save it, and of course Firefox is set to um, uh, the wrong directory. All right, so. Looking at it, everything still looks good um, at its normal size. Um, we're st we still have our transparency, um, good reflection on it. So we would do this for each one of our assets. And this one, we were able to save 60%. Not all optimizers are built the same, so some instances would only save you 10. Um, this one I've seen uh, has, has had the most effect. Um, that, that's worked out the best. So. All right, so there are plenty of other ways how to cut out your assets. Um, the, this is probably the easiest and quickest, most straightforward way I've found out. Um, I buy, I'm by no means a Photoshop expert, so uh, feel free to, to share your, uh, your methods um, in the comments below. Anyway, um, I appreciate the view. Um, the next time around, we're going to be uh, cutting out the header and footer um, and some of the content um, in CSS. Um, getting our base um, styles and everything set up. So, appreciate the view. Uh, please like, uh, comment below. Uh, any feedback is, 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 is great. So, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.